Well, let's return to Taraba, where we are following the APC crisis in their state. Aftermath, uh, the a court judgment by a federal high court in Jalingo sacking the party's governorship candidate, Emmanuel Boacha. David Sabo Kante is standing by live in Abuja for more on the update. Mr. Kante, I was asking you earlier about the implication of this court judgment on your party. The governorship election is just five months away, and your party is yet to win a governorship election in Taraba. Yeah, um, okay. Thank you for having me. It's exactly about uh, six months to the election, and uh, we don't have a candidate yet. And by this judgment, uh, we are all preparing to go back and obey the judgment by going to have another primaries uh, before a candidate is finally sent to INEC for the elections in 2023. You know what they say about a house divided against itself? Taraba has an incumbent governor who is serving a second term as a PDP member. Your party wants to win governorship elections. Some five months to election, you are yet to decide who the candidate is. Is there a situation where politicians do, do not just agree to settle outside court? And what are the chances of your party really, given all this evolving, and I mean, this emerging dynamics? Well, I doubt if it can. I can't hear you very well. But, okay, uh, I was asking, I I was asking the, about the, the chances of your, of your party in the forthcoming election, yes. the, uh, yes. bearing in mind that the APC is an opposition party, and um, five months of election, you are yet to decide who the party's candidate is. By the grace of God, um, in the next couple of days, by the judgment, we, we will be having a candidate that will be presented to INEC for the election. Uh, it's a major setback that the processes that produced the last uh, result were not uh, okay. We're assuring the APC family in Taraba and across the country that uh, in the coming days, we are going to have a primary that will produce a candidate that can win the election for us. How optimistic are you that if, if this primary that you're talking about holds, uh, the different or the warring factions or parties will be willing to work together uh, and um, queue behind whoever emerges as candidate? Actually, the, there are seven candidates that stood for the election. Um, Five, five of us, let me say one left for NMPP, Professor Yaya left for MPP. We are six remaining, and out of the six of us, five of us are really working together for a candidate to emerge. It's only one person who recently joined us that uh, is uh, showing some indifference. Uh, I'm assuring you that in the coming days, and with what we are doing currently, we are all going to put our heads together to produce, to produce a candidate. All right, so your party has 14 days according to the court, but Senator Bocha also says he's studying the judgment of the court and there's the possibility of him appealing and seeking a stay of execution. We'll see how that works out in the coming days. David Sabokante, thank you so much for finding time to talk to us tonight. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, viewers.